Josh Starr here, and today I want to talk about side bets, specifically the Royal Match side bet. Now, as sort of a disclaimer, I will admit I don't like side bets for the simple reason that it slows down the game, okay? And especially popular side bets slow down the game. If everybody's playing it, the dealer first has to pay the side bets or collect the side bets, and then he goes on with the blackjack. So that cuts into my hourly rate, okay? Um, so it cuts into the house's hourly rate on the blackjack game too. So why, do the, why does the house have them? Well, because obviously they make a lot more money on the side bets than they do on the regular blackjack bet. The actual blackjack, they only have about a 1% edge. The edge that they have on the side bets is phenomenal. To be honest with you, I haven't calculated it for most of them, but you'll see just from simple math, from just looking at it logically, how big their edge is. So today, I want to specifically look at the Royal Match side bet, one of the more popular side bets. In this bet, you are paid a bonus of 2.5 to 1 if you make the side bet, if you have any two cards that have a matching suit for your first two cards. So if you have, for example, eight of hearts and a nine of hearts, okay? And you bet $10 on that side bet, that'd pay you two and a half to one or $25, okay? If it happens to be the king and queen, specifically those two of matching suits, then it pays 25 to 1. Okay? So, sounds great, right? Now, if you had that and you bet $10, it's going to pay you $250 on that side bet. Okay? Great. Okay? Now, ask yourself this question though. What if you already had the king? And, boy, I hope they don't watch this and start doing this because this would really slow down the game. So it's kind of dangerous for me to even put this out there. But let's say you had the king, right? And they had dealt one round of cards to everybody, right? So they, you know, everybody got their cards and they all got one so far, right? And the dealer, before he deals the next set of cards, says, Hey, tell you what, let's say you didn't make the bet yet. Or even if you did, they'll let you double up or something, right? So let's say, hey, you got the king of clubs already. If you want, you can still go ahead and make that royal match side bet. And I'll still give you the same 25 to 1. Now, if they did this, I don't. there'd be almost not a player at the table that wouldn't jump on that if they were halfway there, right? Because they're halfway there. They're willing to make, a lot of these people are willing to make the bet before they even have one of them. Now you got one of them ready. Sounds great. This would be the ultimate sucker bet in my opinion because just think about it for a second. What are the odds you're going to get the queen of clubs? You have to get an exact card, right? Well, how many cards are there in the deck? 52, right? You already got one of them, so there's 51 left. Now I know there's six decks or four decks or eight decks or whatever, but that has a minimal effect. It does have some effect, but it has a minimal effect because you're still there's still 52 different kinds of cards. Okay, is the way to think about it. All right. So you have to get the queen of clubs now in order to get that 20, 25 to one payout. And there's 50 other cards that you might get. Actually, if there's six decks, there's 51 other cards that you might get because you might get another king of clubs since you have more decks so having more decks actually hurts you contrary to what a lot of people intuitively think they think well there's six queen of clubs in there like six lottery ticket like six raffle tickets well I got six chances those five extra chances come with 255 losing losers right because you got all the other cards in those five other decks. So, 
just think about it in terms of one deck for now. Your odds of catching the queen are about 1 in 51. And even if there's six decks, it's still about 1 in 51. So even if they let you make the bet halfway there, they're only paying you about half of what the true odds are, because they're paying you 25 to 1. That's if you're halfway there. If you have to make the bet before any cards are dealt, then the odds, and I won't get into the math, unless for those of you that want it, you can put it in the comments, and I'll share the math with you if I see a lot of people are interested in it. Um, or maybe we could do a graphic right here and explain the math. But the odds are about 1 in 333 of getting it. And they're paying you 25 to 1. When really it should be 333 to 1. Okay? That's a huge advantage. I don't understand if you like that bet, why you're not betting just one number on roulette, where you're going to get paid 30 to 1, and the odds are only 32 to 1 against, you know, of, of getting it. So that's a much better deal. And roulette is the worst game, the worst table game in the house in terms of, for the player, has the best house advantage. And even that is nowhere near the advantage they're taking on the Royal Match Bet. And I one time saw a lady betting $5 on Blackjack and $500 on Royal Match. And she kept getting this. She kept getting Blackjacks. But they were of different suits. So she would lose $500 and then she'd pick up 750 over here. I don't have any 50 cent pieces, but you get the idea. And she was pissed, but she was playing the wrong game. She was playing Royal Match. She wasn't playing Blackjack. So, that's my little spiel on the Royal Match side bet. If there's anyone out there that likes the Royal Match side bet, I very much welcome your rebuttal. Tell me why it's so great. People will say, oh, but I see people winning it all the time. Yeah, you're going to see people winning it about one in every 333 hands or so. Okay, so if you're playing blackjack with six people, you're going to see it about once every 50 rounds. Yeah, that'll feel like all the time. I mean, if you if you play a fair amount of blackjack in the casino for a couple hours, yeah, you're going to see a few of them. That doesn't make it a good bet. If you bet it 50 times and hit it once, you're still losing. And even at that, you'd be beating the odds by quite a bit. So please put your comments in. Please subscribe to our channel. I'm going to be covering more side bets uh, in future videos. And um, if there's anything, anything blackjack related that you want me to cover, please put that in the comments as well. I'll be happy to do a video on that. This is Darkstar saying, may the count be with you.